Okay, 17th James Bond adventure is coming to an end. Uh, Pierce Brosnan's first debut acting as Bond in GoldenEye. Um, obviously, this was a strong return for Bond. You know, Bond had to ignite the screen in the 90s. It was a huge gamble. Um, basically, critics were saying, you know, it's too much money to gamble to bring Bond to bring Bond back. He was gone. It was a sort of, you know, it was. That he was a figure of the past, but he wasn't necessary anymore. Um, and obviously, Michael and Barbara proved that theory wrong completely. And Cubby was still with them uh, with Goldeneye, but he very much left it to them and said, you know, he was he was suffering from ill health anyway. Um, he died in ninety six, but um, certainly in nineteen ninety five, he was around for um, for help and guidance, and um, he obviously knew that. He was leaving Bond in capable hands, so um, I mean, yeah, it's a it's a a good debut for for Brosnan. Uh, you can see that he you can see he plays the character well. You can see he's got the charisma, um, which is something that he has a little more than say Timothy Dalton, for example. But what tells them apart for me is you can believe Timothy Dalton more as this ruthless man. You don't believe it quite as much with Brosnan. You see the suaveness with Brosnan uh, more so than anything else, I think. You see like that cheeky side to Bond, you know, um, always there with another answer as soon as you, as soon as you um, say something. Uh, so very quick-witted, definitely. Um, yeah, there are things that are wrong with the film. I mean, for a start, Boris... Oh, there's no point in that character. It's just it's a waste of screen time. Um, you've got On a Top, who is um, yeah, quite a good... Quite, you know, a strong female character. You haven't had many of those in the series, actually. I think um, until On a Top, the strongest... Um, you know, villainess in the series was probably Fiona Volpe in Thunderball. So, you know, we're going back 30 years before Goldeneye to get a strong villainess character. So, um, that's a breath of fresh air, I guess. Um, and it's strong direction from Martin, Martin Campbell as well. I mean, he would, he would return, of course, to direct uh, Daniel Craig's first film. Casino Royale, which we'll have later today as well, so um, obviously a good choice. Somebody who knows how to put everything on the screen, which is exactly the motto that Co that um, Cubby left for um, for Barbara and Michael. Put put it all on the screen. Don't spare any expense. Just put it all up there, but make sure it's good. Don't ruin the franchise. I don't think they did at all with Goldeneye. I think they did uh, a decent job. It's not a perfect film. Whoever says it is a perfect film um, is kidding themselves because it's not. There are many aspects of Goldeneye that uh, are not great, but they can be worked on in the rest of the films. And um, you'll see that, I think, with Tomorrow Never Dies. You see a stronger performance from Brosnan, actually. The thing that makes, that makes me wonder for Goldeneye is how Timothy Dalton would have dealt with the material, particularly like um, against like the 006 character for example. I think seeing Tim Dalton and Sean Bean face off against each other on the dish at the end would have been quite a treat to see. Um, but anyway, we can't have it unfortunately. Um, so, quarter past ten on Sunday morning we've got about I'd say about 13 hours to go now. Um, so we are going to be delving into the next Pierce Brosnan film, number two. Uh, I think it's my personal favourite of the Brosnan ones, although that's quite a um, quite divided in my opinion. Um, Tomorrow Never Dies is coming up.